Talo Falava. My name is Poe, uh, excuse me. Our name is Poe Jackson. Thank you. Thank and, you very much. And we make feel good music, huh? <laughs> My roots, as far as Samoa is concerned, um, I was a part of what they call the Samoan Adoption Program. Uh, that's where you are raised by your auntie or your uncle, and nobody tells you the truth about it until later on in life. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened to me. It's quite common in our culture, it's okay. I still love my family. I wouldn't trade them for the world. My birth mom is from Upolu. Uh, my mom who raised me, she's from Fongsa. Uh, she also raised me independently. Uh, I am Afkasi, as you can tell by this beautiful tan I have. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she raised me by herself. Um, and because of her, I am the man I am today, you know what I'm saying? And uh, rest in peace, Mom, I love you. Uh, my musical influences. Is a uh, is a lot of what what Hamos listen to when we when we're having a party or something. I like a lot of uh, a lot of reggae. I like a lot of hip hop. Um, and I, I I don't just mean like a certain type of hip hop. I like all hip hop, whether it be the underground, um, the gangster rap, the intelligent rap. You know what I mean? Even some mainstream. I don't listen to a lot of radio, but every now and then there's a good song on there, and uh, I nod my head to it. You know what I'm saying? Saran but rap. Saran rap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But as far as individuals, I love N.W.A. I grew up on N.W.A. Lucky Dube, uh, U.B. Forty, Dennis Brown. Uh, who else? D.J. Quick, E. Forty. And um, Bob Marley. and of course, Mr. Marley, yeah. man. Of course, Bob Marley. Yeah. Bob Marley is probably the most influential person in my music career. As far as songwriting is concerned, Bob Marley was by far one of the best to ever do it, to ever walk on this planet, man. Him and Prince, mm. like, they, they wrote a lot of great songs. You know what I mean? I learned from Bob how to take something real subtle and make it bigger than what it actually is and and not lose who I am in the process, you know what I'm saying? My words of encouragement for the children of Samoa, basically uh, education. I don't want to overstress education to, the, to kids in Samoa because a lot of people think that it's beyond our reach. Um, I'm here to tell you it's not. I think it'll definitely make your life a little bit easier, you know, not too much. Everybody's gonna have hardships no matter what, but it'll help you out a long way, you know what I mean? And um, what else, what else, T? What can we say to the children of Sidemore? Stay humble. Stay humble, man. When, when uh, especially if you're making music, stay humble. Stay humble and be original and be awesome. And be like it's not, it's not that hard to be yourself if you really, if you really, Think about it, man. Yeah, you know, my my brother Moses said "Mumua le tour," which is so true in everything that we do. You know the Hulk Hogan speech, uh, prayers, vitamins, and chicken. Your life, your life will be awesome. Kaukula <laughs> ipoa, okay <laughs> ipoa. That's how you get gout, Liga. <laughs> Eat celery. Yeah, but. That's what I would say to the children of Samoa. Uh, but yeah, so this is our, our shout out to you guys. The children of America Samoa, Western Samoa, Savai, Mangua, uh, all the islands that I don't know. Fa Soi we love you guys. Thank you for your support. Aloha